Now, because my time uh, is up, I just want to, uh, to end on a philosophical note, which is the following. This is the most important question that is facing us for you know, this year and next year until LHC 14 turns on. So since the principle of naturalness seems to be violated, why do we expect that we will see something at LHC 14? Why do, do we still have grounds for optimism? And uh, uh, the, of course, one can be optimistic because that's how they are. Uh, but given that we've already, we seem to be establishing that there is tuning to the level of few parts per thousand, why wouldn't there be tuning also to few parts in 10,000, which would eliminate the chance of seeing anything at LHC 14? In other words, once we violate at a principle, it is just a matter of degree of how much we violate. And we have to be very lucky in order for this principle to be violated just by the right amount that the moment we increase the energy by 70%, we'll all of a sudden see everything. It's possible, and I'm hoping for this, uh, I'm hoping for it all the time, but it may be, I, I do not have a good answer to this to this question, and several of my non-particle physics colleagues ask me this question. Uh, and uh, so in order, maybe we can find consolation in the words of a uh, contemporary philosopher, Bruce Lee, whose eloquence I cannot compete with, so I will just have the quote on a YouTube. You are to combine the two in harmony, not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. <laughs> Any ways to improve on that? <laughs> <laughs>